right, all new tonight. For one South Florida man, change is bad. He says the city is forcing him to do something he doesn't want to do to his house. So he turned to Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. As Tom Corrette walks in this yard, it brings back memories of his childhood. My father came here for training for World War II, and after the war, he came back and decided to settle in Miami. Tom grew up in this house in North Miami Beach that his father bought in 1955. We've been here ever since. In 1962, Tom's parents did a little upgrade, pulling permits to convert the open carport into a bedroom and pouring a small driveway for their fancy new car. It looked exactly like it does right now. Tom's parents have passed away, but the nice, neat house looks the same. Till Tom was told by North Miami Beach, it's time for things to change. Excavate this ground and put in a concrete driveway that goes from the road to the sidewalk. The city was enforcing an ordinance passed in 2013 that required a paved driveway, a decision Tom did not like. This has always been gravel. This is how it's always been. Since 1955. Since 1955. Tom was also told the city wanted him to remove this concrete area poured by his father in 1962 and replace it with landscaping. And he did this with his own hands and with his, with his friends. That's when Tom said enough, and he let city officials know of his decision. You go back and you tell your boss that I'm not putting that driveway in. So you fought the city? I fought the city. How's that going? Well, it's not going good. The city started fining Tom. It's now up to $3,450. And what's interesting, if you drive down his street, he has 18 neighbors. 13 also have gravel driveways. Tom says as far as he knows, none of them are being fined like he is. Patrick, I tried so hard to, uh, to uh, go and try to reasonably talk to these people. Tom argued that he should be grandfathered in, that the driveway hasn't changed since 1962. And what I was told was that cities are allowed to make changes and upgrades. This isn't fair. Well, Tom doesn't think it's fair, but Howard, can you force a homeowner to change something that has legally been this way for decades? Yes, a city can, but not in this case. While the new ordinance requires paved driveways, it does not say it requires existing gravel driveways to be paved. Plus, another ordinance on the book says no changes can be made that put an undue hardship on a homeowner. Put the two together, it's clearly confusing, meaning they cannot force these homeowners to change their driveways at this time. We spoke to North Miami Beach officials. It could not have turned out any better for Tom the city is dropping the violation and going to rewrite the code in the next few months to make the requirements more clear. One final thing, that $3,450 fine Tom was facing has been reduced to zero. The liens have been removed. Uh, this house again is free and clear. Tom fought City Hall and won. Truth touches in the American way is prevailed. Without your guys' help, a little help from you, my friends, it, it would have never happened. That's the second time I've dealt with North Miami Beach on an issue like this. Give them credit. Both times they were able to make the homeowner happy. And if you're battling a government agency, the key is knowing what's in the local ordinances to see if you're being treated fairly. There's a website called MuniCode that has almost every city and county's ordinances. The link to it is at WSVN.com under this Help Me Howard story. Reading all the relevant ordinances might clear things up for you. Someone parked a problem with you, ready to drive it away? Contact us. We have the gravel in our gut to work it out for you. Isn't the gravel in your gut from an old Johnny Cash song? <laughs> well, this helped me hard on Patrick Frazier. 7 News.